While you're asleep, they are taking care of others, saving lives. So this morning, hospital workers were shocked to find car burglars were targeting them. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen stopped by Vanderbilt University Medical Center, where more than 30 vehicles were hit overnight. And to just simply clock in and do our job, uh, they would somebody would take advantage of that and take advantage of knowing that we were inside the hospital doing our doing our jobs. A Vanderbilt nurse who wants to remain anonymous is upset that his vehicle was burglarized and items taken. So I had my driver's side window broken out, uh, my driver's side back window on my top of my Jeep was ripped up. On top of handling trauma patients, medical emergencies, and COVID-19 patients, this was the cherry on top. We go in every day just expecting to be able to take care of people and not have to worry about that our vehicles are going to be safe or not. And unfortunately, these people wanted to take advantage of that opportunity. Vanderbilt issued a statement saying in part, VUPD reviewed video footage and has identified suspects in the matter. The Metro Nashville Police Department has been notified and given descriptions of the individuals. This is an ongoing investigation. VUMC is committed to employee and patient safety and always encourages everyone to lock their vehicles and not leave valuables visible. In addition, I found out from the Metro Police Department that about two weeks ago, nearly a dozen vehicles at St. Thomas Midtown were also broken into overnight in a garage. And they're not the only ones. Over the summer, between TriStar Centennial Medical Center and St. Thomas, there were roughly 20 car break-ins reported to police. A source tells me some of the burglary victims at Vanderbilt reported guns missing too. All just kind of surprised I me. Mean, we didn't ever expect, obviously, something like this to happen. Reporting in Nashville, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. No arrests have been made in any of the cases at Vanderbilt, Centennial, or St. Thomas. It's unclear if the cases are connected. Metro PD is working with Vanderbilt police on the case.